With severe obesity affecting nearly 10% of the country, more doctors are urging patients to look at medical treatments along with diet and exercise. Bradley Blackburn has a story of one woman who says her life was changed when she got weight loss surgery. 64-year-old Maritza Cruz struggled with weight her whole life until recently. Some people don't recognize me. She tried diet and exercise for years without success. In 2022, her weight was at an all-time high, and she says her life was in danger. If you continue this way, you're not going to make it. The CDC says more than 40% of Americans are obese, which increases the risk of heart attack, stroke, diabetes, and some cancers. But a recent survey by Orlando Health shows more than 61% of people think exercise and diet alone is enough to fix it. It should be a stigma. I think the stigma is created by social media. Stigma may prevent people from seeking treatment for obesity, according to bariatric surgeon Andre Teixeira. He says for many patients, surgery and diabetes drugs for weight loss like Ozempic are key solutions. They carry risks, but he argues chronic obesity is an even bigger danger. Surgery is definitely not an easy way out. There is a lot more tribulations afterwards that you have to deal with, but the risk mitigates the um, outcomes issues that you can have without going untreated. Dr. Teixeira performed bariatric surgery on Cruz, who has since lost nearly 100 pounds. She's changed her diet, gone through counseling, and now she can exercise, even dance. For me, this was the best move I've made in many years. And you tell other people out there it's okay to ask for help. Absolutely. She says her health is what matters, not how she lost the weight. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. The FBI